Lieutenant Commander Holman Faust taking advantage of a welcome opportunity to introduce to you a Navy group that has made a most comprehensive tour of the Pacific, bringing pleasure and top-grade entertainment to the servicemen on censored number of islands, having played over 390 shows to many thousands of men in their trip out here. Some of you listening in served your boot training period at the Naval Training Station at Great Lakes. And to you, this group will be old, familiar friends. I imagine the rest of you know them by reputation. Many of you here at Guadalcanal and throughout the Solomons have seen and heard them play in person. I had the privilege of working with this grand bunch of men back stateside many times. When I chanced to meet up with them here as they make their rounds of our very big ocean, I grabbed the occasion to put in a bit of time on the program with some foil. And here they are with a sample of the tunes you've been demanding from them as they made the rounds. Commander Edwin E. Peabody, whom you'll remember as Eddie Peabody the Banjo King, the Tune Toppers, Chief John Carter and Bill Baird, who, by the way, isn't too good on the saxophone, but is a wonderful magician. Come on up here and say hello to all the gang, fellas. Whitey Potica. Hi, gang. John Carter. Glad to be aboard. Bill Baird. I'll stick, fellas. Nicky Drago. Nice to be here. Joe Dalala. Hi, Frank. Come on, Billy Manzo. It's well to be with you, fellas. Thanks, fellas. Now the tune toppers start the music off with Donkey's Serenade. <laughs> Whitey Potica, Nick Drago, Joe Delala. As you folks listening in may remember, these lads came from Cleveland. Now the man whom you've often heard on the radio or on Columbia Records, or the star of the Metropolitan Opera, have met out here. Chief Specialist in the Navy with a 4-0 voice. John Carter sings for us a little Spanish song. The English title for it is Yours. The Spanish title is Quierme Mucho. Here we go. Oh, 
Cuando te quiero de veras, como te quiero yo a ti, es imposible mi cielo tan separado vivir, tan separado. Thanks, John Carter. It's pretty gratifying that the facilities of the American Expeditionary Radio Station give us this additional chance to meet with Commander Eddie Peabody and his fine gang. As a matter of fact, as another example of the small world department, I met the officer in charge of this radio studio and outfit and found that we'd worked together in connection with some radio programs in Chicago. Captain Spencer Allen of the United States Army. And here we are, Army and Navy, met together to have a few minutes of reminiscences and entertainment way out in Guadalcanal through the facilities of the American Expeditionary Station and the Mosquito Network. Before bringing you the musical treat yet in store for you, I'd like to tell you that Commander Peabody and the rest of his group originally came out into the Pacific at the request of Vice Admiral Charles A. Lockwood, Jr. to entertain his submarine men at Pearl Harbor and elsewhere, Eddie being an old submariner of the World War. And then with the blessing of Captain Robert R. M. Emmett, commanding officer at the Naval Training Station at Great Lakes, with the help of Admiral Nimitz and Admiral Halsey in the Bureau, they got orders that have brought them throughout the South Pacific and took them to Australia and New Guinea. And they still have many bases to go before they get back to Pearl Harbor and then back to Uncle Sugar to make their report on their tour. And maybe what they report will help us to get more Navy entertainment units out this way. Good idea, eh? Well, on with the show with Commander Peabody, assisted by the tune toppers, breaking out the trusty banjo, and showing us what made him famous before he went on active naval duty as officer in charge of the band, music, and entertainment department at Great Lakes. Commander Peabody plays a medley of tunes which include Marquita, Stardust, and Some of These Days. Take it away, Commander. <laughs> you'll take back to the States with you a message of greetings and wishes for all the best to all our folks at home. I certainly will, Holman, and I know all the boys will, too. You know, this tour has certainly been a thrilling one for us, meeting with all of our good shipmates out here, 
who are doing such a terrific job for our country. And we've been mighty happy to contribute our share to give them some good old-fashioned Navy entertainment and fun and a sort of a little word from home as we made the rounds. Hasn't been easy to read some of them, as you might well know. But the effort to us has been very much worthwhile. And we certainly will take a message home for you and all of the gang out here. What do you say, fellas? Let's sign off. with you, Commander and men. Thanks for all you've done for us out here. But Eddie, please tell all the folks at home that we love them and think of them. Look forward to the time when it's over out here. We can all be together again. Tell them to write to us. We sure love to hear from them. Till we get together somewhere again, so long, friends. This is Lieutenant Commander Holman Faust wishing you all the best from all of us. (laughs) 